Canva Live is this lesser known Canva feature that will allow you to interact with your audience while presenting live in Canva. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you what Canva Live is, how to use it, and then at the end of the video, I will show you three specific use cases where Canva Live might become handy. Let's go. All right, so I will start with a Canva presentation, okay? Because Canva Live works when you are presenting with Canva. It doesn't need to be a presentation, but let's be honest, that is going to be your most common use case. So I have this presentation right here. I'm gonna open it very quick for you. I have six, seven pages, but the content is not so much what's important right here. What is important is that we get into presenter mode, okay? So locate this button right here that says present. If you're not using a presentation, you might have a different button here. No problem, go to share, click on the three little dot button here that says more and find the icon that says present. Once you are, you will have a couple of different choices here. You will find Canva Live under your standard and under your presenter view mode for presenting. Let's start with standard. Okay, so like this, choose standard, click on present, and this is where I will be directed by Canva. My first slide is gonna display full screen in front of me. Now, if I hover my mouse to the bottom of the screen, I will see this little icon right here that says crowdsource questions from your audience with Canva Live. Now, this is where you actually get into the Canva Live session. You start your session. So by clicking this button, this is what I get. Canva Live, let your audience join from any device and crowdsource questions. This seems very cool. So let's go ahead and start a new session. I'm gonna click on that button. And then Canva will do two things. First, it will show me that I'm live. My session is live. I can see it because it's uh, this red button right here. So my session is definitely live. Now also, I have a website right here, canva.live, and I have a six digit code right here that is basically the key for my audience to join my session. So I will need to redirect my audience to this website, canva.live, and ask them to enter this six digit key in order to join my session. So I will start by showing you what this user experience looks like from a mobile phone, because most of the people I believe who are attending your conference or your presentation, if they are coming to your physical event, they are in the same room and you are projecting this on the screen and you're talking in front of them. If you want them to interact, the device they will have handy is most likely their phone. So I want to start by showing you what the user experience looks like from a phone. So I'm gonna grab my phone and head over my tab right here. I'm gonna type in Canva Live. Canva Live, there you go. And this is where I need to enter my six digit code. So let's do that. Three, four, one. And once I do, I will see this screen. So I will see the title of my presentation, Hangout with Team Rondi by Ronnie Hermosa. Welcome to Canva Live, so welcome message. And I see at the bottom a box where I can type a question or a comment. I also see a heart emoji or a heart icon right there that allows me to basically type in a reaction, which is also very interesting. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's start by adding a comment. So let's say super happy to be here with you, with you. Okay, perfect. So I can type in my comment. I can also um, add my name, enter your name, which is optional. So if I don't, I will appear in the comments as anonymous. But if I do, let's say Ronnie, and then I will send that comment. And then we see right here that my comment is live already. So now everyone who is looking at this on the big screen in my venue will see that comment unless I hide it. So it is important to know that when people will send questions or comments, they will show here if this is what you're broadcasting. Basically what you're broadcasting is this entire screen. If you don't want this to show, you click on hide and then you don't see them, like your audience won't see them. If you click on show, Again, like everybody can read all the comments here. So let me type in another comment here. So for example, let's say someone is not so happy about something you've just said and they say, oh, that's so lame. 
that's so lame. And then they send that. Okay, so, oh, I see that runny guy. Oh, that's so lame. I don't really want my audience to see this. So as a presenter, I have the option to click on these three little dots right here and delete the message. The other option I have is to display it bigger. So if I do that, you see what uh, my audience is seeing right here is this message like big and bold. So I can close that. But if I want to delete it, I can click on the three little dots and then delete the message and then it will be gone from here. All right, so that's pretty much how it works. Your audience can access this from their phone or from a computer or an iPad or whatever device they might have handy. The other thing they can do is they can react. So if they tap on this um, little heart icon right here, they can choose between six different emojis. So if I click on this one, for example, or the heart or the thumbs up, like it shows on screen immediately. So this is pretty cool. And that is in a nutshell how Canva Live works for your audience to interact with your presentation. So obviously I only showed you one slide here and I'm gonna talk about the different use cases in a minute, but I want to show you something else. So let me hit the escape key. And if I do that, uh, heads up, you're still live. So Canva is telling me I am still live and I can see this icon right here is still flashing red. So return to your live session by pressing the present button. Okay, I got it. So I can come back to the editor, do some modifications here in my presentation and then come back to my session, which is still live. You see my comments are still here until I finish the session. So right now I'm gonna wrap up this session by clicking on the end button. Okay, so let's do that. And let's hit the escape key on my keyboard to come back to my presentation. Because I want to show you a second way to enter Canva Live. And this time with a little bit more control that will not display all of the comments directly to my audience. So the way to do that is instead of when you click on the present button, instead of choosing standard, you're going to go ahead and choose presenter view. Okay, so presenter view gives us two different windows. I will have the audience window, which is the one I'm moving here. Okay, so the audience window is what my audience will see. So typically, if you're using a video conferencing software like Zoom, for example, and you share your screen for a webinar, for example, this is the window that you will be sharing with your audience, okay? I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna reduce this window slightly, close this dialog box. And then this other window is your presenter window. So this is where you can have your notes and you can also interact, like you can call your different actions, you can bring a timer, etc., etc. I'm not gonna get into that in this video. This is about Canva Live, but I want to show you, you see you have your notes and you have your Canva Live window right here on the side panel. So let's start a new session, okay? I can see that I'm live. I have a new session with a new code. So this is the new code, all right? So I'm gonna type that in my browser right here as well. So let's go back to Canva Live, enter the new code, 332-493, okay? And there we go. Now I am live in this new uh, session and I can start typing stuff. So, hi Ronnie. And you can see I can also use emojis. The emojis will work. You see here, I didn't bother entering my name, so I show up as anonymous. Now, I want to see what the audience is seeing right here. So let's bring, let's bring back my audience window. So this is my audience window. Let's make it slightly bigger. And you see there is no comment right here. And that is because I am using the presenter mode. So in the standard mode, by default, my comments will show on my main screen. But if I'm using the presenter mode, my comments will not show. I can see there's one person in this session who left me a comment, but only me as the presenter can read that. Now, if I want my audience to see this comment, I will have to click on the three little dot and click on display bigger, you see? Or a shortcut is that you just click on the comment. You don't have to use the three little dots. You can simply click on the comment to show it and make it disappear. Now let's make it appear on screen. Now let's go back to this audience window. Okay, I'm gonna recall that window. And you see now the audience can actually see the message. I'm gonna try to fit both windows right here 
So right here on the, on the left side of my screen, right here, I have my audience window and here I have my presenter window. I'm gonna make the audience window smaller. So I'm just splitting my screen so you can see everything that's going on. You see, I'm gonna click on the comment again, it disappears. It's here, I can see it as a presenter, but the audience cannot see it unless I click on it and I make it appear on screen. So this is what I wanted to show you at this stage that if you use the presenter mode, you do have more control about what the audience will actually see and you can decide when it's convenient for you to show the audience's interactions, to show the audience's questions and comments. All right, so, so far we have seen what is Canva Live, how to use it, the difference between using Canva Live in the standard mode or in the presenter view, which gives you more control. Now let's wrap up this tutorial with a couple of use cases and times where using Canva Live might be very handy. Let's go back to present. I can see my session is still live. So for that, I'm gonna to go to my standard and then just present. My session is still live. So for example, the first case study would be you're starting your webinar and you want your audience to participate. You want to keep them on their toes and you want them to engage from the beginning of the session. So you have a slide that says, where are you guys watching us from? And so people from their phone can just start sending emojis. So for example, I would say something like so, Belgium, and then I show a flag of my country. So you can really ask people, uh, and Diana could say something like Colombia, just showing a flag like so. So this is a simple way for creating this engagement early in your webinars where people will basically answer a simple question. So ask question and ask people to react via their phone, via their device, once they are connected. Obviously, you will need to explain to them that they need to go to canva.live, that they need to enter the code. And once this is done, they can very simply interact with you in this way. So that's one way, I would say, one good use case for using Canva Live, creating that interaction. Second is that you could use that in a Hangout session. You know, you have a live on social media and you're using Canva to present. For example, you could watch a tutorial together. So here I have embedded one of our YouTube video in my presentation. So if I click on play right here, the video is just going to start playing. So let's do that. Today I have seven new features. Okay, I'm gonna reduce the volume, but while the video is playing, People could react to your video. They could send you some love. They could tell you, oh, I really like that. And they could ask a question. Can I do that on my mobile, for example? So this is a great way to consume content together with your community. For example, here, I'm playing this tutorial right here. Uh, let me get rid of the volume altogether. So right here, I'm playing the tutorial and I can interact with my community. I can receive their live feedback while playing the tutorial. It's kind of like a watch party that you can do on Facebook, but you can organize this from your Canva account just by embedding a YouTube video in your presentation and playing it while broadcasting this live. So this is my second case study, to watch a video, to watch a piece of content together and receive live feedback. The third use case I would like to illustrate for you today is to have a little quiz. So you can have a quiz with your team, you can have a quiz over Zoom, with your classroom if you're still teaching remotely, or you can have a quiz with your friends in your living room if you're broadcasting your presentation on your living room TV, for example. So here I have added a couple of questions for a simple quiz that you could have with your classroom, for example. It's a math quiz. So I will show you in a second where you can find these cool quizzes and games in Canva, but uh, this is how it would work. Okay, so you have your class, you have your questions and you explain to them, okay, you can use your phone or your computer to answer the question. The first one who answers right will get a prize, okay? So question one, 18 plus 14 equals 32. Is that true or false? And then your students will start typing in their answers and Lisa will say, it is true, okay? So we have Lisa's answer right here. She answered first and then you can switch to the next slide which has the answer and it was true. 
Congratulations, Lisa, you won the first point of this game. And then you have a couple of slides like this. Your audience can interact very easily. And also you can clean up your answers right here. For example, all of these are not relevant anymore. So as the presenter, you can simply clean them up like you delete them. Okay, so I think you get the point. You can use Canva Live for different things. Q&A, which is the most obvious way, Q&A or feedback during your presentation. You can use Canva Live to consume content together and create community to hang out with your community. And you can use Canva Live to organize quizzes, games, bingos, or any types of really fun little games in Canva. And the last thing I want to show you is where to find these game presentation because Canva has a bunch of them. Well, simply from here, when you are using a presentation document, go to templates and type in game presentations or quiz presentations. And then Canva will have a bunch of different pre-made templates right here with questions already. So for example, the one I used was this one and you can see it has 21 pages so already a bunch of different questions are ready here for you but you have all sorts of games you have word puzzles you have uh, memory games you have trivia games so yeah search for game presentations and see what canva has in store for you so this is how you use Canva Live. And if you are interested in becoming a better presenter, deliver better presentations with Canva, I have this other video right here, which is full of tips on how to deliver great presentations. And this video right there is about creating better presentations. So two videos for you to learn more about becoming a great presenter with Canva. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.